Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mega Man X playthrough. I kind of did that to make sure my like audio commentary was on sync because it's weird. I've been noticing some weird like random desyncs in certain places in my videos lately. I don't really know why. Maybe my mic is just getting old or something. I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, um, we are getting ready to uh, continue on here with the final video of Mega Man X. We've got the last two Sigma stages to go through. Um, this next stage is going to be all refights. Um, it's not going to be like the traditional um, Mega Man um, boss refights, because obviously in those games you just had a giant chamber where you fought all the bosses one by one. And, you know, I, I kind of like this method where they kind of scatter them throughout the stages. That's kind of what they did for Mega Man 1. And then only Mega Man 1, because they did the boss chambers in Mega Man 2. But I'm glad they actually kind of changed it up and actually did it like they did in 1, where you kind of just go through the stages and, like, at every, like, checkpoint, I guess, you'll get one of the fights. Uh, so here we have, I believe, yes, we have Mr. Um, Armor Armadillo. So we need, I believe, Spark for this. kind of hard to get the timing down for this guy. It's like he's not even doing the rolling attack anymore. There we go. I guess when you shock him, you do kind of eliminate that rolling attack, but for some reason I thought he could still do it, though. I don't know. Games are weird. Yeah, that that's my excuse. Games are weird, clearly. Uh, so right here, you can actually do this kind of along the same lines as what you did to get the health refills in the first place, but you can kind of do this just to farm health if you need it, or any other resources if you need it either. I really just need help. That actually might be enough. Yeah, okay, we're full. Um, okay, we'll see if we can... We'll try it again. Again, I can't guarantee anything. I think we have... Uh, man... No, we have Stink... Oh, well, this is going to be a hard one to do it on anyway. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do it for this one just because I think it's easier just to do boomerang cutter on this one anyway because he immediately jumps in the sky and stays airborne for a majority of this fight anyway oh sting chameleon got him I think Mandrill's next, and then Octopus, and then Mammoth, so we can try it again on them. And I think we'll also get, like, ch uh, places where we can recover health, so we should be able to manage that. Speaking of which, we have our next uh, <laughs> attempt right here, actually. Okay. Okay. Let's try it again, shall we? Got him! <laughs> Take that, Will. I mean, Drill. <laughs> yeah, 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 Man Drill, not not Man Will, that's right. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, Hadoken, really, really good, I and mean, you can get it off. But, again, getting it off is the challenge. <laughs> funny is we didn't take any damage so we don't even need to get that up there let's try it again <laughs> okay we got octopus 
Oh, I was about to do it. I, I almost got it off, but nah. Uh, so one thing I didn't really show, I don't think I showed it anyway. Um, you can actually use Boomerang Cutter to... Um, um, cut off the tentacles of... Yeah. Now, of course, when you do this, they're going to get locked into doing this the whole time. So only do this at your like own discretion if you can handle the non-stop uh, torpedo shooting. But yeah, cutting off his tentacles does prevent him from doing the uh, like that whirlpool attack thing. So I believe that's it. I think we only have one more um, robot or Maverick left. Again, I can try to do the. Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Right here. Uh, this is. You can either use the um, supercharged ice to get through this by riding it across this giant spike, or I think you're supposed to use the chameleon sting. As you can see, you just kind of go across this whole thing. There we go. Unfortunately, we didn't get full health, so we can't use um, Hadouken here. We got, we got one Hadouken off. That's all I care about. <laughs> and of course, here we have Flame Mammoth. Which I believe is Storm Eagle. And I believe you can also... Uh, Oh yeah, because I showed this off in the playthrough. Yeah, I showed it off already. I don't need to show it off again. Never mind. Yeah, you can use the boomerang to cut off his nose. I think that's. I think all that does is prevent him from doing the fire stuff, or maybe even just the oil stuff. God, did I, I think I actually did that without taking damage. I did get stumbled a few times, but. I don't think I actually took any damage there. And uh, that is actually uh, stage three. Uh, there is no unique boss for this stage. Oh, oh yeah, there is. I, I forgot all about this. Like, you know, you know why I forgot about this? Is that this guy doesn't actually show up on my guide here, my notes reference that I'm using. So that always throws me off. Yeah, there is a unique boss here. This one honestly isn't too bad. I honestly don't know if this guy has a weakness, though. Maybe that's why I didn't know that, because I just didn't mention that he has a weakness. Um, but yeah, you have to defeat this car thing. You can only attack it uh, the top. You have to kind of like do like little... Um, maneuvers like this. It's honestly not too bad. Honestly, if you want to use one of your sub-tanks on this, if you don't want to lose any lives, that's fine too. There's some I kind of, you know what? I, I will go ahead and use a sub tank because there is actually something I want to show off in the next uh, stage anyway, so it's not really a big deal. I like when he does this attack right here because he kind of opens himself up. By just kind of staying there. I forgot. I can't, I can't believe I forgot all about this boss. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sorry, weird car half boss. <laughs> Whatever you want to define that as, anyway. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, Sigma Stage 3. Uh, we only have one more stage to go. 
And um, this stage is very short. It's literally just the end game boss rush, pretty much. Or the end game boss. Not rush, it's. It's a gauntlet of three phases for the final boss, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go there. So, right here. Um, this is another good place where you can use to refill your sub tanks and uh, just any of your resources if you need to. Now, I don't think. I feel like the bats in the Armored Armadillo stage are a little faster. With like dropping like health upgrades and stuff, so it may it may still take a bit, but you can really just do this. And if you have to refill any of your uh, um, sub weapons, so yay one up. Uh, you can also do that here too. You can just switch that sub weapon attack with it, and then just keep doing this until you're completely full, like here. And yeah, once you're ready, um, it's pretty much boss time so we can actually fight the final boss now keep in mind like I pretty much alluded to right there if you use up any weapon energy and use up any sub tanks you will actually not have like it won't refill uh, between attempts so if you take a death you're gonna need to grind um, all that stuff again if you want to have all those resources again so keep that in mind but yeah, you can do that right here pretty easily. So, do that if you feel like you need to. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Final boss time, folks. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. Okay, so this uh, first phase, you have to fight the dog. Uh, the dog is weak to the Hadoken, And I think you can one-shot it with it. So if you get that out, you're good. Otherwise, you have to kind of fight him the normal way, which is a little awkward, admittedly. But it is what it is. Got him! Okay. I did take damage, but that's fine. But we got him. Uh, one thing you can do if, like, you want to fight the dog easier, and if you don't have the Doken, you can kind of just, like, hug the wall in the corner, stay at the top, and wait for your opening to strike, because he'll do, like, some wall jumps. And when he's, like, directly across from you, you can just fire a charge shot while you're on the wall, and that, that'll usually get the um, dog down pretty quickly. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You are almost as good as a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. Oh god, he likes Star Wars! So here's what you want to do for this fight. Okay, well I messed up there, but... You basically want to get into a pattern where you can do this pretty reliably. And he'll never change the pattern either. It's really not that hard. It is kind of slow though, so keep that in mind. Um, he does have a weakness. He has a weakness to electric spark. So if you want to get more damage, you can also use that and not have to rely on charge shots. Which I will go ahead and use it, I guess. Might as well. I literally just practiced this fight yesterday, so I should be fine. Because this is actually a pretty hard fight, and again, if you die in any of the phases, you have to do the whole fight again, including the dog. So that's why I'm trying to be as careful as possible. But again, there's a pretty reliable pattern here, if you couldn't tell. And we got him. But 
that's not it. We have one more phase to go. Final form Sigma. He is weak to rolling shield. Now, I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this here. His weak point is his head. And what the game wants you to do is they, they want you to get on top of Sigma's hands and attack him from the top of the hands. It can be kind of tricky because you can wait for the hands to come down or you can wall jump up to the hands, which if you wall jump up to the hands, it's a little faster, so probably more recommended. But meanwhile, he'll also be firing his own like set of attacks too. So don't be afraid if you need to dip into your sub tanks. If you feel like you can get this fight down, then do not fret. Use those sub tanks because... Again, you can easily easily pattern lock the first two fights if you know what you're doing. So, just wanted to explain that before we got started. Um, honestly, getting like two hits in each time you jump up here is not bad. I'll go ahead and use one now. Even if you have to take a little bit of damage to get up there, it's not too bad. Honestly, if you even have to take a little damage and just staying up there, that's fine too. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use another sub tank. He's about done. Oh shoot! Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually use the sub tank. <laughs> Come on, come on. Just gotta do one more hit, or a few more hits, not one. Uh. One more hit should do it. Got him! Yes! Oh, first try, thank god. Ugh. <laughs> oh. No! It's not possible! I'm a Reploid! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age! A new age of cringe. <laughs> that's what- that's the age they wanted. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go, folks. That is Mega Man X. Really cool game, really cool game. The war has ended. For now. And peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted... X gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose the fight. Was there another way? You can't dwell on things like that, though. I mean, you know, if he didn't do anything, it could have been more destruction. Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. What, is it sentient or something? Like... <laughs> Is it where my brain is stored? Like, come on, need, need a need a few more details here. Just, just a few, not many. Just 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 a few. Just like a handful, a small little handful, a handful of uh, small minor knowledge you can impart to us. But yeah, that's uh, Mega Man X. Uh, honestly, really great game. Um, 
If I haven't made it clear, I think this is... This is hands down, I think, probably my favorite, like, Mega Man-styled game in existence. You know, before I would have probably said Mega Man 6 or something, but, like, you know, this, this game, I think, trumps everything over the classic series. And honestly, I think the series continues to be pretty good for a while. Like I said, I played Mega Man X2 uh, for the first time last year, really enjoyed it. Um, I actually played, I think I played X4 the year before that, so I played through that and really enjoyed that too. Haven't played X3 yet, but I know that will be on the horizon at some point, especially with Super 16. So I'm, I'm sure I'll get to it within the next few years. Besides, gotta do my Mega Man X3 playthrough in uh, 2026. <laughs> but um, yeah, like it, it's a fantastic game. I think it controls very well. You know, there are some difficult parts, but I feel like the game is very accessible to the point where, yeah, even though there are difficult parts, I feel like if you keep trying, you'll get it and you'll figure out something. And that's what's great, I think, about this game is that despite the difficulty, it's very accessible that you can honestly overcome anything. And I think that just makes a great game in general. Like, if game developers can do that with their games, then they're doing something right, that's for sure. And the presentation, my god, the presentation. Like, I think the game looks great. Like, it looks really, really cool. And the music is fantastic. There's not a single song in this game that I feel like doesn't work. Like, every song is good. Even the password theme. The password theme. It's it's a great theme. You know? Like, how, how could you hate the password theme, Odin? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a great soundtrack. One of the best soundtracks on the Super Nintendo, for sure. It, it's just a solid game. I, I definitely recommend if any of you guys have an opportunity to play this, and if you've never played a Mega Man game, or Mega Man X for that matter, give this one a shot. I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, like I said, I played this on the Mega Man X uh, Legacy Collection on Switch. Um, I'm sure you can get that collection on other consoles as well. You know, even if you wanted to emulate the game, I think that's perfectly fine to do so. It's a pretty easy game to emulate too, so... You know, give this game a shot. It's definitely on my top 15 SNES games list. It's, it's really good. It's really, really freaking good. So, yeah, definitely give this a high recommendation. And again, it continues, so we'll be seeing more um, in the future as well. Thanks for playing. Well, thank you for making Capcom. I appreciate it. I always like when they say that. It's like, yeah, thanks for playing. I was like, no, thank you for making. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to do it for Mega Man X. If there's anything else I wanted to address or talk about, I'll do so at the end here after my close. But... Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this playthrough. Um, next Mega Man playthrough, or Mega Man X playthrough, will obviously be Mega Man X2. Um, I'll probably I'll probably just keep going with what I did last, like, have been doing with the Mega Man series. I'll probably just... I'll play it next year, so stay tuned in 2025 for the Mega Man X2 playthrough, and we'll keep going with that. I don't know if it'll keep being a yearly tradition, just because... You know, um, especially like at the end of the X series, the games start getting a little eh. But, um, you know, for at least, as, as far as I'm enjoying these games, I'll definitely, definitely keep doing this. But yeah, we have a little, uh, little teaser here. Sigma. You still, you know, got the, the Sigma virus is still out there. <laughs> so we'll need to uh, look out for that. Honestly, he seems a little more dangerous than what Dr. Wily was, so... Could be a very formidable foe in our future. Um, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here. This has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And I'll uh, see you guys next time for my next one. Later, folks. <laughs>